Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my sister Eden. Hey guys. And we are going to be doing a Pop Tart mukbang. Yeah, Pop Tart! Yay! Now I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that word right. I don't know how it's pronounced, so feel free to just roast me in the comments telling me that I don't know how to say mukbang. Mookbang. Why would it be mookbang? I, it's B-A-N-G. I don't think. I think it's like a different language. I don't even know. Isn't it a made up I don't word? care. I don't. Well, it's not made up because it's a thing. Okay, we're spending too much time on this. That's how I feel about that. Okay, so we're gonna go through our Pop-Tart flavors that we have. Starting off, okay, wait, first I wanna mention, the sad thing is we did not go to the store to buy these for this mukbang. These all were literally in our house already. Like they're all already open. And, this yeah. is how many Pop-Tarts we own. I think we have issues. I think our health is suffering. <laughs> it, it is, it really is. Okay, no, but the disgusting thing is, this will be my third day in a row having Pop-Tarts. Ew. That's <laughs> nasty. I don't usually do this. I have had quite a hiatus from Pop-Tarts, so now I'm craving them, and I thought, here's a fun idea. Let's eat them and talk about stuff. They're, so, yeah. they're good. They're <laughs> I mean, so good. They're the, like one of the best toaster pastries ever. So good. Okay, so first of all, we have chocolate fudge. Only three ninety nine. Yeah. Really? Mm, no, that's a PewDiePie reference. Oh, I didn't know. But can Sorry. you do this? I I know what that yeah. is. Okay. <laughs> and then we have cookies and cream. Do you want to show them? Yes. And over here we have hot fudge sundae. Mmm, mm, tasty. And then last but not least. <laughs> sugar cinnamon before we start eating these there is one thing that we have to do what is that thing wait did you prep me on this i don't no. know okay <laughs> whoa well, oh, what is it elise i don't know we have to put them in the toaster oh because how could you eat your pop tarts untoasted the disrespect yeah who that goes that? with that you know, I'm so sorry if you do that. Like, we actually do love you, but seriously, you should try toasting your Pop Tarts sometime. It's so good. It's just so good. Guys, are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready. Oh. And. Ah. Okay, we gotta put them in the toaster, so let's go! I'm going to have my assistant toast the tarts for us. Okay. Put those pastries One. in. Two. Two. Down. And then we still Two. got these bad boys. Oh, yeah. Ready? A three. And four. And down. And four. Yeah, boy! Oh, oh it broke! Sorry. No! Oh! <laughs> They're hot! I'm sorry! Oh, no. It lost a leg. What is, is that? Really what happened to that pop tart? <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. Let's go. Now this wouldn't be the perfect pop tart mukbang unless if we had some milk to drink with it. Oh, he no! needs some milk. But what are we gonna drink out of, Eden? Oh well, I have these sippy cups here. Yeah. Would you like me to pour you a glass? Yes, please. <laughs> Stop. Well, we might as well just use the rest. Here, I'll split it between. <laughs> you little, <laughs> you turd. Okay. And then let's, hey. We're ready. I see you're drinking skim milk. Is that because you think you're fat? You could be drinking whole if you wanted to. All right, let's go ahead and eat. Cheers. Cheers to, wait, I have, oh, <laughs> hold on. Cheers to my broken, ah! <laughs> no! Okay. 
okay, that's that's really sad. Oh, okay, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about is concerts. Because concerts are the best. We're actually going to the 21 Pilots concert. Oh my god! The ah! Bandito tour. What are we gonna wear? I'm not really big on picking I'm... out concert outfits, but I think this is important. We need to talk about this. I am going to wear a jumpsuit. I'm gonna wear a vulture costume. Ew, actually, can you wear the vulture and I'll wear the cheetah costume? Let's oh do God. it. Let's show up as furries. I'm down. Let's do it. I don't know if I can commit to dyeing my hair yellow. Oh, I am. I'm so okay. What do you guys think? Should we dye our hair yellow for the concert? Vote in the poll. Yes or no? Oh, man. I am. I don't know, man. So ready to commit to that. I will do it for 21 Pilots. I mean, my hair kind of was or is a yellow tint. So. Yeah, so you just make it more vibrant. Ugh. Oh, fine. We'll see. What's your favorite concert that you've been to? Um, I haven't been to a lot of concerts, but one of my favorites has, has definitely been Panic at the Disco. We mm -hmm. went a couple years ago. That was a good one, and yes. also, I don't know if you guys know who the band Amberlin is. We went, me and Britt and I. Yeah, sorry, you guys went. Grammar. You left me out. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Britt and I went to their farewell tour and it was like so so awesome is that at the house of blues it was so good <laughs> can't good. relate I all right know. hey you want to do a pilot concert okay so. that is true i saw them on emotional road show and that was such a good concert but that was good mm -hmm. i think one of my favorite things about the panic at the disco concert was obviously brendan yuri's high notes he just pulls them out left and right like and even they're, when they're not in the song like just... they're flawless yeah how I don't know. And like, there's such high notes for a guy to sing that. His vocal range is insane. It's like so crazy. He's like one of the best singers ever, I think. He is vocally and I mean also Just... his songwriting, the production. And I love his dancing. Oh yeah, oh that's another thing I was gonna mention. He... It's... You can just tell he's having the best time of his life, and it's so fun to it's watch like him dance. Super goofy dancing, but like he can pull it off. Like it is so great. For real, it though. is so great. Yeah. I think kind of a sad thing is when you miss concerts that you really want to go to, like earlier in the year. I missed the Lord concert. Oh, yeah. And she is one of my favorite artists ever, and I wanted to go so bad, but I couldn't. And then also the Fallout Boy concert, I think, is happening this Saturday in Oklahoma oh, City. It? Yeah, and oh. we're missing that and I'm so sad. Like, we'll have other opportunities, but it's kind of sad when you know that your favorite band is within driving distance, and you of, like within know. a few hours, yeah. yeah. So that's kind of, kind of sad. Remember that one time when we had the, when we had the opportunity to go to a One Direction concert? <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> I'm honestly- And okay. we didn't go! I'm honestly still bitter about that. We had the opportunity. Someone offered me their tickets. That's so jank. We should have gone. Why didn't we go? What was the reason? I well, think we were in college and it was like... I think, yeah, we were in college. And for some reason there was like a conflict and we couldn't go. I don't think we wanted... No, we would have driven that far. Why didn't we want to go? Why didn't Did we Did someone go? have a night class? I don't remember. I don't know. There's some up. I forget. We just, we yeah. should have gone because that was like one of their last tours, but we didn't know. <laughs> it's so sad. Okay. I need to stop being dramatic, but like, honestly, <coughs> missing the One Direction concert, huge mistake. So because it's spooky month, I thought we could share some scary stories from our childhood or just things <laughs> that we believed that scared the living crud out of us. You want to go first? <clears throat> So one story in particular that I vividly remember is our neighbor girl, she told me this creepy doll story. Oh and my gosh, no, I hate that one. Oh yeah, it, no. it freaked her mm -hmm. out as a kid. Cause, mm -hmm. Okay, because our neighbor, the neighbor girl told it to me and I was freaked out, but like, I had no. to vent to someone this story because I was like, I gotta act cool. Like this, this story is literally, yeah. Gary, so get a living mm, out of me. I have to tell someone. So I ran and yeah. told Elise. Her little story. sister. Her little baby sister. She came and told me this freaking messed up, psychotic, 
horror doll story. Yeah, I don't I don't even think I should tell it because it is like the creepiest thing. Like I think as a kid, I could yeah. not sleep. Like we own dolls, we own the American Girl Ooh. dolls, and Ooh. I I literally mm -hmm. I'm cringing. I I couldn't even play with my dolls like or look at them. I was so freaked out by this story. We are definitely not gonna tell this story right now because it still traumatizes me. But you can probably find it online. Just go look up scary doll story where the doll is climbing up the stairs. And maybe you already know it's like, I'm on the first. Stop it! You're I... telling the story! Stop well, I'm not gonna it. tell the full thing because it really is an awful, terrible story. And the ending's I'm... terrible. The ending's like, yeah, it ends in death. So, yeah. That's... Uh... Mm -hmm. I don't wanna think about it. Okay, we're done. If you wanna know, I don't recommend looking it up, but if you're so curious, no. You... yeah. No, don't look it up. No. Oh my no, gosh. No, no. You're I telling children it. to look up a scary story. Please, actually, don't. please don't. It'll don't ruin do your it. life forever. It still ruins me, and I'm 21, and I hate thinking about it. No. But hey, if you guys have any scary stories, let us know in the comments. Just kidding, don't. No. I really don't want you to. No, actually, yeah, let her know in the comments. <laughs> See ya. How about in Instead of telling scary stories, let us know in the comments what you're most excited about for Halloween. What are you most excited about? Um, I'm gonna do some spoopy baking for my channel, I think. Are you serious? Yeah, let's do some baking. That would be so fun to do baking videos, do Halloween treats, actually make really cute fun. Halloween cookies. I That'd think that's cool. what I'm excited for. All the Halloween content. Yeah. I'm just excited for like cooler weather. But I think yeah. we've explained this to you guys. Oklahoma weather, it goes from super hot to super cold, and there's no, like, in-between of fall. Oh, yeah, it jumps straight from summer Like, there might be winter. one or two days of, like, fall, but it's, like, yeah. hot, melting. Oh, it's freezing cold. Exactly. The leaves change for just a week, and then they're gone. And then they're, like, and then they're all dead. It's so sad. I want to move somewhere where there's an actual fall. Yeah. Yeah. But then also you have to deal with the brutal winters, so maybe not. Yeah, but it'd be worth it for fall, because fall is my favorite season. You still need to finish. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I guess another thing that we can talk about is how we went to Canada. And we were confused about miles to kilometers. So obviously in the U.S., we run on miles. We don't really learn about kilometers like we do, but we don't use them when we're driving. Yeah, it... So when we passed the border, I was freaking out because I'm like, well, I was the one driving and I thought, how am I supposed to know how many kilometers per mile, not per mile, kilometers per hour I'm going because their signs are all kilometers per hour. Yeah. Like it'll say 100 km, right? Yeah, 100 km. I think. Or you know what? It doesn't even say km. It just says 100. Yeah. So, so I'm like, like, obviously it's in kilometers, but how am I supposed to know? Because my car is in miles. Well, little did I know that the inside ring of the speedometer has smaller numbers that read kilometers, and I felt so stupid. I didn't know that either. That like, out. for all you people who live in the United States, like, if you knew about the inner ring of numbers that were kilometers, like, I, yeah. I applaud you because I had no, I was wondering what those numbers were for. Actually, I don't yeah. think I even wondered. I just knew they I, were there. I was like, I don't know what they're for, but who cares? Here's the thing is I've noticed them before, like when I first started driving, I'm like, oh, kilometers per hour. That's obviously for other countries. But then I forgot about it because I never used it. But then when I actually need, needed to use it, like I forgot it was there. See, I, yeah. I don't think I even ever recognized. Like I just, it was there. Like the numbers were there and I never questioned it. Like so, I never was like, why are those numbers? There. It was just we like, were being they all were there. stupid and dramatic. Like we're gonna speed and we're not knowing because our car doesn't tell us, but it does. Like, yeah, I know. If we're we like got pulled over, over and I would have had to tell the officer that we didn't know how fast we were going. He literally would have pointed at my speedometer and been like, "You <laughs> idiot!" No, but yeah. Elise and I, we were literally making a game plan. Like, okay, so if we get pulled over, we'll just act like two stupid Oklahoma girls, not knowing what we're doing, and we don't know. And then he literally would have pointed at the <laughs> kilometers and been like, That was no. not our finest moment in life. No, we, wow. Well, once we found out, we're like, wow. <laughs> we dumb. Real. We real dumb. Okay. So I think that's everything that we had to talk about. We've already been filming for 30 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, you should definitely 
smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And Eden has a channel where she makes I do. amazing videos. Thank you. 10 out of 10 quality content. Go subscribe to her. I'll put that in the description and also in the card. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for yeah. the quality, quality content tag. <laughs> All right. Thank you again for watching. We love y'all. Bye.